In 2021, Sean Young purchased Levitt's Country Bakery, a popular, decades-old bakery in Conway, New Hampshire. Everything was fine until an overzealous code enforcement officer showed up. Levitt's has been here for 45 years, and when the previous owners went to sell it, we had heard there was a lot of interest. Um, some people wanted to make it a gas station or a pizza shop, but Levitt's is a bakery. That's what it's been for 45 years, and we wanted to keep that tradition going. Not only did Sean want to make sure Levitt's remained a bakery, he also wanted to make sure it remained a community gathering spot. In spring 2022, Sean was presented with an opportunity to get the community even more involved with Levitt's. So we were approached by the local high school art department and the art teacher, and they're looking to do a project with their students. And we thought that we had the perfect backdrop right above our door, and they asked, and of course we said yes. So there was a lot of local people and customers that wanted to help decide the content of the mural, but I believe you can't tell an artist what to paint, um, so we left it up to the students. After six weeks of hard work, the students unveiled their mural to Sean, Levitt's customers, and the Conway community. It was a colorful mural of baked goods making up a mountain landscape. It adorns the front of Levitt's to this day. So we didn't know what the students were painting, and at the big reveal, we were pleasantly surprised. We loved it, we thought it was awesome. It's here in the White Mountains, so it's the sun setting over the mountains, and mountains are made of donuts. Who doesn't love a donut? Sean quickly learned at least one person in town doesn't love a donut, or at least a mural of donuts. About a week after the mural went up, the local code enforcement officer came and told us that it's not a mural, that it wasn't art, that it was a sign, and it was in violation of the local sign ordinance. I asked him why it was a sign, and he explained to me that because there is donuts and pastries in the mural, and we're a bakery, that that made it a sign. If Sean had a mural this same size that depicted something he doesn't sell, that would be okay. If the students painted this same mural on the farm stand next door, that would also be okay. But because the mural depicted something Sean sells, it violates the ordinance. Sean appealed the decision to the zoning board and the public showed its support with more than a thousand supportive comments on Facebook and dozens of supportive letters in the local newspaper. But town officials refused to budge. I didn't tell the students what to paint, and I don't think the government should tell the students what to paint either. If the students had painted real mountains, the town would consider it art, but because they made the mountains out of donuts, they're saying it's a sign. That doesn't make sense. That can't be constitutional. Last December, the town gave Sean an ultimatum. Paint over the students' beautiful mural, or leave it up and risk daily fines of $275. But Sean didn't want to destroy the student's creative vision, so he teamed up with IJ and sent the town a letter urging them to reform the sign ordinance and allow for beautiful murals like the one atop Levitt's. Once again, they doubled down on the unconstitutional law. So in January, Sean and IJ filed a lawsuit against Conway, arguing this ordinance violates the First Amendment. When the government treats some murals as art and others as not, based on who made them and what they depict, that's not just wrong, it's unconstitutional. I'm teaming up with the Institute for Justice to keep the student's mural and to give the town of Conway a civics lesson on the First Amendment.